Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to cover another PSP plugin, and this is one of the best. And I'm so excited to bring you this video, and just really happy and excited to pick up the PSP again and mess around with it. I've been doing a lot of PS Vita content, and I do apologize for the lack of videos covering the PSP and I'm so excited for this month of September we're going to cover all sorts of different plugins apps tools etc for the PSP so be on the lookout for those videos and make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit that notification bell so you don't miss it in the future big shout out to slaf h for the latest subscribers to the channel and we just hit 16,600 thank you all so much for the support my goal by the end of this year is to make it to 18 to 20,000. So if we surpass 18,000, I'll be very happy. So that is my goal for this year. Anyways, today we're going to cover a very cool plugin that allows you to do all sorts of different things uh, right off your XMB menu, your main menu, your home menu here. And it's really cool. It's one of my favorites. And I'm just so excited to bring you this because it's one of the best plugins to have on your PSP. And why not have it? It's something very interesting. And this one was released back in 2016 and it's called the PSP Console 1.7 Neo. So let's take a look at it here real quick. And we have this random wallpaper that just shows up. And here are my different options, as you can see. Very cool. And it's a PSP console by Hotter version 1.7 Neo. So before we go through all of these different options, let's take a look at how we can install this on our PSP. And it's fairly simple. We just have to throw the PRX file into our SE plugins folder and copy the text into our vsh.txt file. So let's get started. Head on over to the first link in the description. I'll take you to psxplace.com. And we want to click on this green button here, download now. Make sure to have an extracting program like WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract the files. Right click and extract files, hit OK. And there we go, our folder is ready to go. So let's drag that to the desktop. And now we're gonna plug in our PSP to our PC here real quick. So here's our PSP drive, the E drive ready to go and let's open up the PSP console 1.7 Neo folder let's get this all squared away here very nice let's blow up these icons go into this folder and now you'll see the SE plugins the readme and readme mod let's go into SE plugins very good now enter into the SE plugins on your PSP. And what you want to do is copy this PSP console folder into the SE plugins folder like that. Open up the vsh.txt file from the PSP console folder. Let's rearrange this here real quick. It's too big. Very nice. And let's find our VSH text here in our SE plugins PSP folder. There it is. Here's all the plugins I have currently installed. And what we want to do is copy this over to this text file. So you can see I already have it here. So make sure to copy it from this text. Cut and paste should look exactly like this next hit file and save and we're all set there for the PSP go users you want to change this to EFO if you're using your internal storage and you'll be all good to go there back on our PSP console we'll hit the select button to access the VSH menu go down to the recovery menu and under plugins so we want to make sure that the PSP console.prx is enabled very good and if it is you don't have to reset the VSH but if you are enabling it for the first time you will have to hit the reset VSH so let's go back 
and check it out. So pressing start will enable this plugin and this random NeoFlash Summer Compo 2009 wallpaper will appear. So at the top with the yellow text, we have the CPU clock speed along with the battery information, 100% at 34 Celsius. And here are our different options. We have programs, games, options, shutdown, restart, and sleep. Under programs, we have alarm clock. So you can set a time and your PSP will go off at that time. And it's going by the uh, military time. Interesting. Here's the calculator, a very simple calculator. So let's see, 20, 20 plus one. Oops, equals 2021. 20, 2021. All right. And your other calculator options there and you can access each one by pressing X obviously and going back by pressing the circle button and we have a very bad flash going on here and I believe this is happening because of the remote joy light plugin I'm using right now so it is freaking out but it was working for me no problem uh, disconnected under file explorer we have all of the different folders within our memory card. And this is very cool. Let's go into game, PS1 games. And here is all of my PS1 games on this PSP. Pressing square, you'll have all these different options. So you can delete it, new file, new folder, properties. And properties, you gotta be very careful here. Pressing up and down will change to hidden, so you can hide this game, yes or no. And by pressing left or right, the read only option. So those two were at no, so I'm just going to leave that there. And you can see the data was modified, accessed, created. Unfortunately, it doesn't give me a size, that's not cool. Let's check out the Rugrats game. Still not seeing that either. Hmm. We can rename this file, sort folder, interesting. That's very cool. Let's go back. And we have our game sorter. Here it's going to access all the games within your PSP game folder. And you can sort through this, pressing X and moving them around. And you can hit square to confirm your selection or save your uh, current setup there very nice and our plugin manager yeah this is tripping out here sorry about the flashiness here but you can just basically enable and disable plugins instead of going to the recovery menu which is very very convenient let's go back task viewer module 70 modules interesting let's go back to the main menu and we have games this is so cool so we have three different games we have sea snake pong and tetris sea snake go so now i'm playing a game on top of everything so if i wanted to play a game while i'm watching a movie there you go it's kind of fun or if you're like listening to music and you just want like something very simple there you go and sea snake is very easy to play well sort of you just don't have to touch yourself while you're collecting the uh the circles here so if i touch there you go game over your score was 30 my high score was 95 and pong is the simple back and forth and you are playing with a computer so the score is at the top, 0-0. Zero, zero. And if I let this go, it will restart. And now he's at 1. And just really can't do much here. Just go up and down. And you can press circle to end the game. And here is Tetris. This one is a little too fast for me. But you can change the speeds by pressing up and down. And pressing X will change the shape. 
But if you do press down, like you want to change that speed, you will have to go back up. You have to press up again to reset that. So just be careful with that. I, I did a terrible job. I'm like, why is it not working? It's going too fast. And I was playing like this for a good minute. I totally forgot I had to change that. So keep that in mind while you're playing this awesome game. Boom. There we go. And under options, we have view hidden files, sort by name, open all with text viewer, see snake walls, no or yes. PSP console button. This option is to enable this plugin. So you can change it to whatever you like. If you don't like the start button, change it to something else of your own preference. We have the homebrew button, the plugin program sorter, and the plugin game sorter. Very good. So these are the games and the different programs within this plugin. Very good. And our last three options is shutdown, restart, and sleep. And that's basically it. To exit out of here, you can either press circle or start again. And that'll take you out. And that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot with the whole YouTube algorithm. And that way, other people who are looking for this type of content can find it in the search results. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.